Is Qatar outpacing France for mediation in Lebanon? Stick around to find out. Qatar charity launches an essential aid convoy in Sudan. Authorities step towards smart parking in Qatar. And finally, here are the top 10 athletes to watch out for at the 2023 Asian Games. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Washington reportedly prefers Qatar to lead mediation with Lebanon, according to new reports. Qatar and the U.S. are part of a five-nation group attempting to break a political deadlock that has left Lebanon in stalemate. Lebanon has been unable to elect a president at least 12 times since former President Aoun left office. Now, local Lebanese media says Qatar is outpacing France to take the lead in mediation due to its credibility with divided parties in Lebanon. For more analysis on the issue, check out our website. Now, Qatar Charity has launched a food aid convoy in Port Sudan for families affected by the recent floods. The convoy is the first relief intervention in the River Nile State. Other charity has been heavily involved in providing aid to Sudan as it goes through a war that has lasted for months and claimed thousands of lives. Now, Qatar is taking steps towards reducing traffic congestion and improving urban life. Authorities have announced a smart parking management project to optimize parking spaces, promote sustainable transportation, and enhance road safety. This would see sensors and identification panels installed in key public parking areas, including West Bay, the Corniche, and Central Doha. And finally, with the 2023 edition of the Asian Games set to start on Saturday, the World Olympics Committee has named the top 10 athletes to look out for. Qatar's Mahdez Barsham, who won bronze at the World Championships earlier this year, looks to make it one better at the Asian Games in high jumping. India's newly crowned world champion and javelin, Neera Chopra, is looking to retain his Asian Games crown, whereas Japan's Iki Rikako is ready to strike gold at her second successive Asian Games games and swimming. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.